we're going to be diving into the biggest problem in RTS games and what Company of Heroes 3 needs the most. The game is rapidly approaching release. We're only three months away and we're uh, uh, approaching the finish line here. And I think Relic has a huge, huge task ahead of them. They're doing a fantastic job with the campaign. The dynamic campaign is the largest single player experience the franchise will ever see. And I'm very excited about this because it's going to bring new players into the fold. I'm a multiplayer person, always have been. Uh, I've been playing competitive RTS games all my life for over 15 years. And, you know, I see this problem in RTS uh, between campaign and multiplayer. There is this huge divide between the two communities. And I think Relic should leverage their amazing campaign to launch players into multiplayer and co-esports, which I think has a very bright future, a brighter future than it ever has. And I think the key to that is solving the problem of um, a lack of training mode. I don't think this is being resolved in RTS games, period. Uh, fighting games do a great job of having a training mode. Fighting games teach you all of the elements of the game in little parts, right? And they help make that connection between that single player experience and the multiplayer experience. They do a great job of that. Of course, it, there's it's a little bit easier to relate in fighting games because it's it's um, you know more focused and the single player and multiplayer experience is not that much different. RTS games are much more complicated. They're much longer games. You have you have multiplayer games that last up to sixty minutes sometime, and a new player in the campaign is not going to want to jump into that experience and deal with all of the aspects because it's a completely different game. It's nothing like the single player experience and it's too long. There's too much information. They can't possibly um, make sense of it all, right? In a 60 minute match and it's daunting, it's intimidating. So what I think Relic should do, in my opinion, is take the aspects of multiplayer into a training mode, break it down into little parts, and have each little part teach one aspect. So core mechanics, gameplay fundamentals, metagaming, most efficient tactics available, and to have a social aspect where you connect players to these uh, most efficient tactics, build orders, right, down here. Uh, macro, the concept of macro is not an obvious concept to new players. It's not even something you necessarily learn in campaign mode. Resources and their implications base building, right? Base management, uh, micro. Oh my gosh. Micro is a huge part of company of heroes more than most RTS games, even, even triple a games like Starcraft, right? Micro and, and co is extremely complicated. Unit control is extremely complicated. There's so much nuance to the game that new players are not aware of. So that's huge in my opinion, teaching that and then build orders. What are build orders? How do they, you know, how can they differ? How can they impact a the game? How could you optimize? A certain strategy and I think if you could break down these concepts into little parts little segments that players can really focus on and train in right refining and practicing that would be huge for allowing them to connect from campaign to training mode these concepts into the multiplayer experience and I think one of the most important things for the multiplayer experience in 2023 is a sh social aspect to the game I think Players need to, especially new players, they need to have multiple game modes and, and options to experience the game socially with friends. So whether that's campaign, co-op, 3VE, right? Um, training mode with friends to allow them to connect to the game socially through several modes, whether that's team games or the modes we just talked about. Um, and then to say, okay, do we want to jump into a game yet? Maybe not. Maybe we want to spectate the game. And spectating mode should have learning tools. There should be learning tools based on the training mode where they learn the concepts in training and then they can apply those concepts through learning tools to spectating the game. And that connects directly into multiplayer if they want to play the game or spectating mode and learning tools connects directly into co-esports. Once again, social aspect integrated into the client where players can say, okay, we play the campaign as a new player We've learned all these little parts about multiplayer. We're engaging as a social group with our social groups in these several modes. Uh, and we want to see the best players do it. 
Let's take everything we've learned in training with these learning tools and spectating them. Let's watch the best of the world do it, right? And let's learn from them. And then, hey, we can do that. Like we, we, we're learning, we're growing, we're watching, we're getting excited. Let's, let's take our group and let's jump into multiplayer. And you can have tons of friends and teams and players joining in socially, playing the multiplayer experience, training together, jumping into different game modes or the campaign or back forth to esports, watching the, the latest co-event. And I think this training mode is going to be integral to helping um, develop that ecosystem and company of heroes um, for the long term, where you don't just have campaign players and multiplayer players, where you know campaign players play and then they they go away, and then multiplayer players stay and they they they're that real fundamental um, hardcore group that keeps the genre alive for the long term. You know, I think we should bridge the gap between these two communities, and we should really. Focus on not. I know Relic is doing a good job of this. They're they're gonna they're gonna be supporting the campaign and adding a lot of content, which will keep these players here, which is fantastic. But what I'm more interested in, because I think that I think this is something they're already doing, is how do we get these players here in multiplayer? And I'm not saying they need to, they need to be this level of co esports or be hardcore players. But I love the multiplayer experience of Company Heroes. I want as a content creator and as a player of the franchise who loves the game. I want more players to experience this part of the game. And I think training mode is the absolute most essential part of that. So guys, I hope this video made sense. I hope Relic sees this. I think this is so important uh, to have a training mode that's comprehensive, not just basic tutorials like you see in other games, but something that is really dynamic, comprehensive, and teaches you the um, fundamentals of multiplayer. So uh, guys, let me know what you think about this video. Go ahead and leave a comment in the description. And uh, let's hope for the best for this this game for many years to come.